Good evening, graduates, parents, guardians, family members, distinguished guests, and Cardinal Carter faculty. Welcome to our commencement and graduation awards ceremony for the Cardinal Carter graduating class of 2021. We are very happy to celebrate with you this evening. I am Tatiana Dachuk, an English teacher at Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, and I will serve as your presider of ceremonies for this evening. Grade 12s, welcome to my home. Even though this is not the way that we imagine celebrating your graduation, this day is still yours. It's a beautiful day to celebrate the culmination of many years of hard work, dedication, and for the past year and a half especially, endurance. On behalf of all of the staff, I want to let you know that we are so proud of you. Teachers are also watching this presentation, and when your picture comes up, know that all of the staff will feel great joy in seeing you with your beaming faces and all dressed up in your gowns, but will also feel a twinge of disappointment that we can't be with you in person to celebrate this great accomplishment. We also want to acknowledge your parents, siblings, and everyone else who has consistently and diligently worked to guide and support you, our valued graduates. This is a wonderful moment for all of you as we come together to celebrate this milestone with you, our graduating class of 2021. We will begin with the national anthem sung by Cardinal Carter student, Laura Fortini, accompanied by the senior instrumental class, followed by the opening prayer read by Dina Alsamak and Dami Aule, who will read our land acknowledgement. <laughs> Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted in the water. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought, and it never fails to bear good fruit. Jeremiah chapter 17. Dear God, as we approach the end of this journey, we thank you for standing by us, for walking with us, for closing the doors that were not meant for us, and opening the ones that have led us to where we are today. Sometimes we don't see you. We stray away. We shift our focus to the everyday matters that preoccupy our lives. But you, you're always there, arms wide open, ready to accept us, ready to take us in and care for us just as a parent cares for their child. You love each and every one of us with all our strengths and all our flaws. You've given each and every one of us a purpose in this life, the purpose and the capacity to change the world in our own unique ways. We ask that you please guide us in the next stages of our lives. Help us to place our trust and our confidence in you. Make us out to be the tree planted in the water, the one whose leaves are always green, and the one who never fails to bear good fruit. You will lead us to where we need to be. You will lead us to the paths that are set out for us. You will lead us to make a difference in the world. In Christ, we place our trust. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are gathered on all the ancestral lands and waters of all indigenous people who have left their footprints on Mother Earth before us. We respectfully acknowledge those who have walked on it, 
those who walk on it now, and future generations who have yet to walk upon it. We pray to God, the Creator, for strength and wisdom that all may continue to serve as stewards of the earth. With us this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates and academics and their contributions to our school and community are our distinguished guests. Those addressing our graduates include Trustee of Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, Ms. Elizabeth Crow, your Catholic District School Board Student Trustee, Teresa Silvey, Interim Director of Education and Secretary of the Board, Ms. Mary Batista, Superintendent of Education, Student Leadership, Mr. Eugene Pavado, Catholic School Council Chair, Mr. Brad Coates, and Principal of Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, Ms. Rakina Antunes. Hello, and thank you to everyone for joining us today to celebrate this year's grade 12 graduates. My name is Elizabeth Crow, and I am your Catholic school trustee. This past school year was full of ups and downs, in-person classes and remote learning, which probably felt like a lot of back and forth. But looking back, we will see that we were always moving forward, moving forward with Jesus Christ at our side. As we read in Paul's letter to the Hebrews, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. We have faith and we have prayer, powerful forces that help us to keep moving forward, especially in times of uncertainty. The York Catholic District School Board is not simply an educational institution that happens to be Catholic. We are a Catholic institution that educates. We are blessed to be able to intertwine home, school, and church life to provide students the chance to develop socially and spiritually as well as intellectually. So graduates, when your family made the decision to enroll you in a Catholic school, they did so with the intention of providing you with a holistic education. During the COVID-19 pandemic, these expectations became more important than ever. Without faith, it can be hard to hold on to the hope that things will get better. As discerning believers, we can nurture hope in ourselves and others and look forward to brighter days ahead. Graduates of 2021, you are the epitome of perse perseverance and resilience. You overcame obstacles, triumphed in your studies, adjusted to remote learning, and found new ways to communicate with your peers and teachers when challenged by a year of social distancing. Your hard work and trust in your own abilities and God-given talents has brought you to this major milestone, your high school graduation. Your dedicated teachers and school staff have helped you equip yourself with the knowledge and values you need to continue to excel in your journey. Now it is up to you to apply them in your everyday life so that you can succeed once again in whatever path you have chosen for yourself. As you prepare to embark on the next stage of your life, whether it be work, apprenticeship, college or university, now is the time for you to realize your high school dreams and cultivate your passions into a meaningful future. And remember, as you continue to grow and experience the world, your dreams may change and that is okay. For God said, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. No matter where you go or what you do, Remember to strengthen your faith in him and know that he will always be there to guide you every step of the way. To the teachers, support staff, and administrators, I sincerely thank you for all of your outstanding efforts and work. Your dedication and commitment to the graduating class of 2021 will not be forgotten. You have made more of a difference in the lives of our students than you will ever know. To the proud parents, guardians, and family members of today's graduates, thank you for your patience and understanding this school year and for working with our board so that our, so that our graduates could reach today's milestone. Your support and encouragement throughout the years has pr provided the foundation for their success. Congratulations, parents. This is a milestone event for you too. F. Scott Fitzgerald said, it's never too late or too early to become the person you want to be. As your future opens up before you, 
I encourage you to think back to the person you used to be, reflect on the person you are today, and imagine the type of person you want to be that make that happen. On behalf of the York Catholic District School Board, I wish each and every one of you success in the years ahead. Congratulations, graduates, and God bless each and every one of you. Hello, graduating class of 2021. Our four years of high school are finally over, and I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say that this past year and a half during a pandemic has helped us grow in both appreciation and resiliency. I know our senior year is not what we expected it to be, with a virtual graduation ceremony, nonetheless a virtual goodbye. But let us remember how far we have already come and the obstacles we have already overcome during these trying times. So from the bottom of my heart, I would like to extend a sincere congratulations to all graduates for the determination and dedication you have shown these past four years. As you enter into this next chapter of your life, I challenge you to use the valuable lessons you have learned at your Catholic to make the world a better place. Though we may not be the first class to graduate during a pandemic, let's hope we're the last class. That being said, let's remain hopeful for a future of restoration and renewal. And remember, your Catholic will always be your home. Thank you and God bless. Hello graduates, proud parents and guardians, staff, families and friends. My name is Mary Batista and I am the Interim Director of Education for the York Catholic District School Board. It is my honor to congratulate today's high school graduates. High school graduation is such an important milestone in life and it is without a doubt unfortunate that we find ourselves marking this occasion virtually instead of celebrating with one another the way we traditionally would have. Graduates, it's okay to be disappointed. I share in your disappointment as do your teachers, administrators and families who would have loved for you to mark this occasion with all of the traditional joyous graduation activities like prom, graduation masses, luncheons, and of course the traditional cap and gown graduation ceremony. However, don't let that diminish the many things you have achieved throughout your time in high school or prevent you from making the most of this celebration. Graduates, take a moment to think back to what you felt like when you started high school in grade nine. Were you excited, nervous, ready to get started and take on the world? Now think about the friends you made, the subjects you've studied, and an interest you discovered that you had previously never thought about. Think about the lessons you've learned, both inside and outside of the classroom. Think about the skills you've developed, the skills you are most proud of, the skills that make you unique. Think about the exams you studied for, the tests you've written, the presentations you've given, and the way you pivoted to online learning and found new ways to connect with your teachers and friends through technology. Graduates, you have accomplished a lot. You put forth your best efforts under considerable circumstances and you have succeeded. You are graduating high school and now armed with your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. The possibilities for your future are endless. Graduation is meant to be a cumulative occasion not a single specific moment in time. It is an opportunity to pause and reflect on the person you've grown to be and to challenge yourself to figure out what kind of person you want to become. Today's graduation ceremony is somewhat bittersweet, but nonetheless, a truly joyous celebration. Graduates, you have proved yourself time and time again to be resilient and adaptable, and these traits have grown your character. You should be most proud of yourselves. Your teachers, families, friends, and all of us at the York Catholic District School Board are also proud of you.
A school is much more than the brick and mortar building in which you study. It is the community you contribute to, the ideas you share with each other, and the culture you create. What I've seen of the class of 2021 is extraordinary. I am excited for the future. Remember, graduates, with God, all things are possible. I have every confidence that as we turn the corner in our communal fight against the pandemic, pandemic, we will do so with more wisdom, compassion, and gratitude. The class of 2021 is not one that will take the little things for granted. It is a graduating class that will seize every opportunity to build a better world and live life to the fullest. This school year success is the result of a team effort between students, teachers, support staff, administrators, parents, parishes, community partners, and beyond. I sincerely thank each and every member of our York Catholic community for their contributions in helping our high school graduates reach today's milestone. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Your best years are still ahead. Good luck and thank you. Greetings to you all on behalf of the Senior Administration of the York Catholic District School Board. You've learned a great deal over the past four years. We are so proud of the gains you have made and thankful for all of your friends and family who share in your success. Your diplomas are a celebration of what you have learned, but they are even more so about what you are now called upon to do, which is to build the kingdom of heaven on earth. May your faith keep you strong, wise, and loving. Congratulations, graduates. God be with you. Good evening, Cardinal Carter. It's my privilege to be here with you tonight and to offer congratulations on behalf of the Catholic School Council and the parent community. Graduating high school is a significant milestone. You should be proud of your achievements and the hard work that you've done to get to where you are this evening. We, as your parents, certainly are. If I was to leave you with one thought tonight, it would be to embrace change and opportunity as you go forward. When you leave Carter, you're gonna be presented with a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities. Some of these may seem a bit uncomfortable or even scary. They may ask you to step outside of your comfort zone and into the unknown. Embrace these opportunities. You have a lot to offer to the world and the world has a lot to offer to you. Again, in closing, congratulations on a job well done. Hope you have a wonderful evening and a great summer and may God bless you as you move forward in your lives. Good evening. Good evening, honored guests, faculty members, parents, family members, and above all, graduates. This evening, we gather to celebrate your academic success and to pay tribute to your resilience over your last two years of high school as you navigated strict COVID restrictions in the midst of an unconventional two years of learning in a global pandemic. Your last year of high school presented many challenges and opportunities. You faced many ups and downs and disappointments. When at school, you had to attend school on alternate days and ensure you were six feet physically distant from others. You had to wear a face mask and sanitize your hands throughout the day. Virtually at home, your virtual lessons felt isolating at times, and you had to deal with the frustration of your Wi-Fi not working and your computer screen freezing during lessons. You missed being at school with your friends. There were no field trips or excursions, no face-to-face -face events or co-curricular activities, no semi-formal, no prom, and of course, no face-to-face -face graduation. However, despite the challenges of learning in a quadmester system and attending classes face-to-face -face in cohorts or virtually from home, you came together to navigate the collective challenges that you faced and seized new opportunities. On the bright side, you were able to log on to your classes in your PJs. You didn't have to pack a lunch. You had time to learn a new skill or pick up a hobby that you enjoyed. You enhanced your digital skills, spent more time outdoors, and you were able to spend more time with your family and furry friends. Your memories, experiences, and stories of this school year matter because they tell the story of a resilient group of students whose kindness, creativity, compassion, innovation, and excellence allowed you to navigate and grow in unfamiliar terrain. As you faced struggles, defeat, and many obstacles, you supported and relied on each other. 
Through your individual and collective struggles, you are reminded of the importance of forgiveness, being courageous, having hope, and moving forward with optimism. It is a result of your perseverance and resiliency that you are here this evening. You should feel proud of how far you've come and all that you've accomplished. This year taught you that you have limitless potential to accomplish great things, even in the harshest of circumstances, and how to put others first before yourself. To your teachers and support staff, thank you for your exemplary leadership and care of our graduates and for doing the impossible during this unprecedented learning environment to support our graduates. Thank you for your commitment to their education and for your guidance and support over their four years of high school. A special thank you to the graduation committee who worked behind the scenes to put this virtual graduation ceremony together for us. Your high school graduation closes this chapter of your life and signals the beginning of a new chapter. May you be blessed with courage for your journey, that fear may never keep you from exploring new paths. May you be blessed with hope, that you may never give up on yourself or on others. May you be blessed with goodness, that in you, strangers may find a generous friend. May you be blessed with laughter, that you may never take yourself too seriously. May you be blessed with gratitude, that you may see all of life as a gift. May you be blessed with remembrance of one another and your time together here. And may you be blessed in knowing that you are loved and that we who love you are full of joy as we celebrate your life in our midst and your dreams to come. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. We have now arrived at the conferral of diplomas as the graduates are recognized for their achievement of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. During the virtual conferral of diplomas, students will also be recognized for the following accomplishments. Students graduating from the International Baccalaureate Program, students graduating with a Business Specialist High Skills major, Health and Wellness Specialist High Skills major, Honor Ontario Scholars, Department Appreciation Awards, and Top Subject Awards for the highest mark. Please refer to your program for a description of these awards.
in congratulating the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> we will now continue our ceremony by recognizing students who have achieved school and community awards.
congratulations to all of the graduates and award recipients. That concludes the awards portion of the evening. We now come to a very special time in the ceremony when the students welcome a spokesperson to speak on their behalf. The valedictorians elected by the graduating student body will congratulate, address, and deliver a final send-off to the graduates. Let's congratulate and welcome this year's valedictorians, Rene Fournier and Nicholas Gesualdo. Hey, fancy meeting you here. I heard there was something you had to show me. I did. Is it okay if I present my screen? Yeah, go ahead. Cardinal Carter, thank you for the... Four years, eight semesters, and 32 classes. Halls of lockers, stacks of textbooks, many assemblies and masses. Four grades, 1,500 students, 92 teachers and staff. $1.25 cookies, morning music, never-ending lineups in the calf. Two semi-formals, three homecomings, four summer vacations. One pandemic, one unforgettable journey, and one online graduation. I know you're probably staring at your screen thinking, I did four years of high school for this? Yes, but not to worry. With this virtual platform, Nick and I can actually do some pretty cool things. Who would have thought we'd be coming at you from the beach? Or from Paris? Wow. Or from Carter? No matter where you are in the world, we wish to welcome family, friends, staff, honored guests, and fellow graduates to the 2021 Cardinal Carter Virtual Graduation. Hi, my name is Renee Fournier. And my name is Nicholas Giswaldo. And we are the class of 2021 valedictorians. We are incredibly honored and grateful for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class. We would like to congratulate you all. From our kindergarten graduation in 2009 to our virtual one today, we have all accomplished, experienced, and learned so much. From Shakespearean plays to the quadratic formula to the mitochondria, which, in case you forgot, is the powerhouse of the cell. These pieces of knowledge that we have been so carefully collecting have ultimately served to create a puzzle. A puzzle that forms who we are today and a puzzle that we will take with us into the future. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's reflect on this memorable journey here at Cardinal Carter Catholic High School. It all began September 5th, 2017, when we took our first steps into grade nine, filled with excitement, anticipation, and a little bit of uncertainty. No, seriously, I actually had no idea where I was going and ended up being late to every single one of my classes. But eventually, we all managed to navigate the labyrinth of hallways and made it through our first day of high school. But we were not out of the woods just yet. The next day, we had to stuff our belongings in a garbage bag and awkwardly sit beside a stranger on a two-hour bus ride to Muskoka Woods. Between our activity groups, dining tables, and bunkmates, we met so many new faces and made so many memories. But the best part still has to be earning bragging rights over all the other teams and winning that huge trophy. Oh yeah, we still haven't forgotten what team? Green team. This trip was an unforgettable experience and a great way to kick off this new chapter in our lives. The next couple years went by in a flash. Our time at Carter was spent in classrooms, sports teams, clubs, and councils. We hung out in the foyer, by the lockers, or any other location we designated as a student hangout spot. We had some pretty cool events like Terry Fox, Relay for Life, Classroom Cahoots, and who can forget Market Fair? Does anyone smell pancakes? Um, I think that's just unique. Maybe. I miss the days when my biggest concern was figuring out who had my lunch and 
what time it ended because between A, B, and C lunch, I was always a bit confused. We were working hard and studying even harder so we could walk across that stage and receive our diploma. Or so we thought. And then, ironically, Friday, March 13th, 2020 came around. We had to leave the rhythm of high school abruptly and join a world full of uncertainty. Physical distancing, face masks, and hand sanitizer became the new normal. We used Google Meet as our platform for learning and had to say goodbye to seeing our friends every day. I never thought I'd say this, but I actually miss going to school. Crazy, I know. But as Winnie the Pooh said it best, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? It is undeniably true that the class of 2021 missed out on a couple of things, like studying abroad in the summer or driving to school on a daily basis. Our in-person grad and prom were cancelled. We no longer had the opportunity to be the grade 12s in the hallway or have that perfect high school musical ending. Although the class of 2021 didn't get the closure we were expecting, Cardinal Carter has nevertheless provided us with a fulfilling high school experience. We look back on our time together and we smile, as those, my friends, will be the good old days. Now, now, Nick, don't get too sappy on us. Look at the bright side. We no longer had to deal with the stress of exams. Yeah! We got to sleep in later and take class in our pajamas. Speaking of pajamas... Goodbye collared shirts and uncomfortable green sweaters. Yeah! There were no more late flips because you had Wi-Fi issues, right? But most importantly, this graduating class is more prepared for the future. The hardships and obstacles we have overcome this past year have made us stronger and more resilient individuals. I don't know what the future has in store for us. All I know is that we are ready. And just like that, it went by so fast just how everyone said it would. The home of the Celtics is now the home of tomorrow's future's doctors, teachers, firefighters, and all of those other occupations we learned about in Miss DiDonato's class. We are about to begin this new chapter and embark on our own individual pathways. However, it's not time to move on just yet. We first have to thank those who have helped us along the way. To our families, thanks for putting up with us for the last four years. We know it wasn't easy. For consoling the late night tears over tests and assignments, to washing our uniform and packing our lunches, just know that we are eternally grateful for all that you do. To our teachers and staff, thank you for fostering a positive and welcoming learning environment. You have provided us with endless possibilities and taught us that we can accomplish anything. And finally, to our fellow graduates, teammates, study buddies, and homework helpers. We have been through so much together from times of hardship, excitement, confusion, and laughter. Thank you for all of it. Nick and I could ramble on forever. Thankfully, we don't lose marks for being over the word count. If there's one thing we hope to leave you with, it is to enjoy every little thing that comes your way. Over these past four years, it has been easy to get stuck in a routine and sleepwalk through the monotony of everyday life. COVID has served as a wake up call for us all. It forced us to slow down, press pause, and hit reset on our lives. Everything was instantly put into perspective, showing us the true importance of family, friendship, health, and happiness. So thank you, COVID, for teaching us not to take anything for granted. We will no longer dread those early Monday mornings or cram sessions the night before an exam. We won't forget to enjoy our time out with friends or kiss our parents goodbye on the way out the door. We won't dwell over our past or stress about the future because we will be living in the present and enjoying every minute of it. Now graduates, it's time to get serious and address some important questions. How's my suit? Just kidding. Okay, for real this time. You've graduated high school, you're on your own. Your life is in your hands. So now what? Who are you? Where do you want to go? And how will you get there? Don't worry, it's okay to not have the answer just yet, but it's important to start looking for them. Explore your passions, Seek out happiness and discover your purpose in life. Do what you love and success will be sure to follow. 
and don't be afraid of failure along the way because it's okay to make mistakes. Bake a cake that's too big or grab a screwdriver that's too small. That way, when something is just right, you won't have to guess. You'll know. Wow, after reminiscing over some memories, a couple cliches, and one metaphor from Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we have reached the end of our valedictorian speech. But before we sign off, Nick and I have just one final message. A message so valuable, it should never be forgotten. A message so crucial, it should govern our daily lives. A message so important, we could not deliver it to you ourselves. Joseph, will you do the honors? Keep the claps, me, Carter, and have a nice day. Thank you, Renee and Nicholas. Now that was a speech I don't think I'll ever forget. Congratulations to our valedictorians. And now Dina Alsamak will offer our graduates a final blessing before we conclude our ceremony. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, here we are, we've made it. Everything we've done in the past four years has finally paid off. As we close this chapter in our lives, we ask you to give us the courage to be the leaders of tomorrow, to seek truth and find our way back to the light when times are tough. Just as you love unconditionally, teach us to love the life that we've been given, the hardships, the good memories, and all the people that come with it. For we know that it is through love for ourselves, love for the world, and love for you that we can overcome adversities that we face. We will make mistakes along the way, there will be times when we feel hopeless. There will be times when we feel as though we've lost our purpose. But as long as our confidence lies in you, we will not fear. We will stand strong, we will be resilient, and we will have the courage to find our callings. You must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. You can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Mark chapter 11. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In closing, we would like to take a moment to thank the graduation committee members for all of their work behind the scenes in the planning and preparation for this evening. The members are listed in the graduation program. Please stay tuned for a photo slideshow of our graduates and a special staff tribute video. Congratulations to all of our graduates and your families. We wish you all the best as you carve your paths, making your way to all that lies in store for you. Thank you all for participating in our virtual graduation ceremony this evening. May all of God's graces be with you, the graduating class of 2021.
your troubles and doubts Giving me everything inside and out and Love strange, so real in the dark Think of the tender things that we were working on Slow change, they pull us apart When a life gets in your heart, baby Don't you forget about me of 2021. I know this pandemic has kept everyone far apart from each other, but today I want to talk about what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for being part of clubs and council, and I'm thankful for all the teachers and the students who being kind to me every day. I am thankful for being able to go to Muxloka Woods, and I am thankful for the iPad. I could keep learning, and I'm thankful for being able to say the announcements every day when we were at school. I enjoyed my four years at Colonel Carter, and want everyone to remember, keep a class, Carter. Let's go Blue Jays and let's go TFC.